Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the uh, text-to-speech engine Sarah Proc and specifically uh, reviewing and showing you the William TTS. Uh, before we get to that, I do want to remind you this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com. AndyTags.com is a great website to get really cool NFC keychains, NFC stickers, that actually look good and can do really cool things with your phone. So check out antitags.com after the review. So Sarah Prox William TTS uh, engine, text-to-speech engine, it's really cool, uh, has a cool sound to it, especially if you're looking for something that has sort of a Jarvis kind of a, a voice, um, which I know is something a lot of people are looking for. Um, obviously, if you don't know, Jarvis is not literally a TTS. Jarvis is an actor, and that's why it sounds so good. Uh, so you're not going to find a text-to-speech engine quite yet that's quite as great sounding as Jarvis. Uh, but this one gets pretty close, especially uh, it, it's got the English accent, British accent, um, and it's just a good uh, uh, voice engine. They do have other uh, voice engines you can buy besides William. Um, but William's the one I have, so I'm just going to demonstrate it for you so you can see how it works. So, let's hop on my phone and check it out. Alright, so, there you see the uh, Sarah Proc William TTS engine. Before I actually open that up, uh, I'll just uh, send myself a text message, which will give you a chance to uh, uh, hear how it works. Let's go here. And it doesn't really matter what it says. I'll send it. Eric Google is texting you. So you heard it say that Eric Google is texting me. Uh, we can get some more samples by uh, putting it in here. You'll see. Uh, you can put anything you want to in there and then push play. Welcome to the new Android app from Sarah Proc. Enter text here and press play. As you can see, it it sounds uh, fairly natural, uh, more so than a lot of the uh, TTS engines that are out in, engines that are out there. Um, you can have it talk faster or slower. So if we put it over here. Welcome to the new Android app from Sarah Proc. Enter text here and press play. That's probably a little bit too fast. I think the middle rate's about good. Welcome to the new Android app from Sarah Proc. Enter text here and press play. And you can also change the pitch. So you can have it higher. It's going to sound kind of weird. I'm warning you. Welcome to the new Android app from Sarah Proc. Enter text here and press play. If you want someone that doesn't sound like a person but sounds kind of like an alien, then you can do that. You can also lower it. Welcome to that is pretty much horrible because it not only sounds weird but it also is almost impossible to understand but when you have it set in the middle with what it's supposed to be then I think it sounds really good welcome to the new Android app from Sarah Proc enter text here and press play um, so it works good and you can use that with uh, I use it because uh, I use the voice app Utter. So, uh, and there are other voice apps. But, uh, what am I trying to find? If we go to Utter, you'll hear a little bit of it. Um, here we go. What it would sound like if you're using it, you know, with a voice app. Yes. Open Start NFC Expert. Open Start of Kexp as the closest match. Now, of course, the reason it, the name sounded weird is because it's running, you know, the app, app name is running words together. But you can see it sounds uh, uh, pretty cool. Yes. Text, Eric Google. Okay, what 
else do you want to say to Eric Google? Hey, what's up? Okay, this is what I heard. Hey, what's up? Do you want to proofread it? No. Sent. So that's an example of just, uh, you know, just hearing what it sounds like when you're just using it uh, with your uh, voice activation uh, app. So anyway, that's uh, really all there is to it. Again, it's Sarah Prox, William TTS. They have several other voices you may want to check out too and figure out which one is best for you, which one you want to use. Um, but that's uh, it, and that's what it sounds like. That was Sarah Prox, William TTS voice engine. As I mentioned, of course, they do have other voices that you might want to check out. Um, but uh, this one is just, it's really cool, especially if you are if you want a male voice um, with a British accent. Uh, I don't know, I think TTS engines always sound better if they have an accent that's not your native accent because, uh, I don't know, it sounds less robotic for some reason because it's not your accent anyway, so you don't know if they're screwing it up. I think that's part of the reason. Um, so I've used, you know, Ivana voice, uh, Australian female for a long time, and I was looking for something that kind of sounded like Jarvis and uh, came across this one, and it had good reviews. And as you can see, it, it does a good job, sounds really uh, good, fairly natural. Um, again, maybe that's because I'm not British, and maybe if I were British, I would think it sounded horrible. But from an American perspective, I think it sounds pretty cool, and it's the closest thing I could find to sounding like Jarvis. So anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click the like button. Uh, please check out my channel. I have several different playlists, Android app reviews, tasker tutorials, product reviews, things like that. You can check all those out. Subscribe to the ones you're interested in, or subscribe to my whole channel. Um, that's really about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.